What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about the last fire steel you ever buy. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing today? I am doing great. Um, got something I want to bring to you that I picked up at Blade Show this year. Um, I happened to stop by their booth and looked at a couple of their things. There's a couple other things I wouldn't mind having from them. This is the one thing I picked up first. And uh, I'm going to kind of dub it as the last fire steel you'll ever buy. And then we're going to get into the particulars on it. Then we'll take it apart and we'll really see this thing. Now, like I said, I picked this up at uh, Blade Show this year. It is the Exotech Nano Striker XL, all in one fire steel. And I'll show you all about that here in just a second. The price point is 25 bucks. Comes in four colors. Gun metal that you see here, black, orange, and olive green. One ferro rod, quarter inch rod, is guaranteed to 3,000 strikes, up to 3,000 strikes. And the rod is replaceable. We'll show you more about that here in a minute. Body itself that you're looking at is 6160 aluminum. And the best part about this bad boy, she was made right here in the United States of America. Now, let's take a look at this fire steel, this all-in-one. And like I said, this carabiner I put on it, they actually supply you with a piece of rope. And I have no clue what I did with that little piece of rope. So, that's how it is. So, since we got it all zoomed in right now, let's take it apart and let's look at the parts and pieces to it. There's your actual striker with its little gasket on it. That's part of the... Um, not letting the water in on it. There is the actual ferrocium rod in its housing, and there is the actual housing itself with another o ring on it to keep water out of it. So let me zoom this thing out, and we're going to take a look at it as a whole as you put it together. So then you screw it together like so. It does come with this protective coating on it to keep it from corroding and stuff I would imagine um, there's your striker if you can see it it's carbine carbide uh, striker now they say the you know take and scrape this coating off and then once you've done that you should be ready to there it goes you don't have anything over here on the side that could combust or cause a flame but anyway oh yeah she's putting out a hell of a spark hot spark too i'm noticing that so i think it'd be a pretty good um I, I, i'm ready to test it out in the field and we'll be doing that here pretty soon um now what i was saying about replaceable ferro rods it unscrews from the housing itself you can see it's threaded and um, you buy another one from them, screw it back in there, and uh, she's ready to go. And like I said, this thing's up to 3,000 strikes. And with the O-rings on both ends, on the thing when you put it together so everything stays out of it water-wise, um, I believe you would have a ferro rod that you would never have to replace again. You, I mean, you'd have to replace the rod itself, but you could always use this unit and never have to buy another one. Now, I say that, but we like these cool ones too that we get from like MCK here on YouTube or the other ones we buy, we've already bought probably, like your uh, Light My Fires and that kind of stuff. So anyway, so this is going to be just a general overview of it. We're going to get it out in the field and we're going to test on her pretty hard uh, we'll build some fires and do that kind of stuff do some camping with it uh, anyway so that's my look at the exotech nano striker xl so anyways guys uh, don't forget uh, i have links down in the bottom make sure you subscribe and share and do all that other good jazz you do and watch one of the old videos and and uh, go like on them and Check out the website and go hit my Amazon account up a few hundred times and all that good stuff. And well, mid 10 will be back at you. Be prepared.